flip, guys, just to re reiterate. The higher seed for game one is the home team. Game two, the lower seed is the home team. And then back. Correct. Testing. Hey, wow, we're hot. Yeah, yeah. I can dial it on. This is your, by the way, this is your volume. This is my volume. Can Wait. you hear me? I'm good here. Th that's for your own monitoring. Oh, okay. I can hear myself too. All right. Everyone, Trojan 1979 with number one overall seed, King Wrath, in the booth. We got a matchup between Leif Erickson and Mort. And we got to get the challenge links out to y'all. Had a spelling error, so you definitely want to click the link. Um, we're going to put that out in chat. Just getting some information out there into chat. It's crazy. Can you copy this and put it into the YouTube stream? For some reason, I can't copy. Go into it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. Otherwise, I can do it there, I guess. We'll try to get you guys the bracket as soon as possible. Uh, Schmidt says, tell Raph his game is off today. Acknowledged. You guys uh, don't under underestimate uh, Morton. He's stepped his game up in a big way. Yeah, I played Morton. Uh, he was in my group playing the round robin. Um, and he was, you know, we, I think he was in the lead against me going into the third. Uh, I ended up squeaking one out against him, but uh, definitely could tell his gameplay has stepped up. So this should be a really good matchup. All right, we saw this matchup between you and uh, Jim Duffy. Poor Jim. Um, hope you bought him a drink before or after the game. Uh, Mort with the Canadians and Lee Pickerson with the uh, Winnipeg Jets. And, of course, he's rocking that awesome uh, North Stars Modano jersey. Here goes Evgeny Davidoff uh, on the wing. Tries to feed Solani. No go. Zamnoff is there. Quick shot. Wise in front of net. Davidoff almost has a putback, and here comes Desjardins. Desjardins to Captain Kirk. Nope, taken by Solani. Solani tries to go with a floater. Wa is there. Back to Wa. And there's a wide open net right now, but it is recovered now by Brian Bellows. Bellows into the zone. Looking for a one-timer possible opportunity. Yeah, Captain Kirk. No, goes for the slapper. 
What are you seeing so far? Not a bad shot, I think, because you had, you know, once you see the defense clog in the middle, put it on net, try to get a rebound, or that could have even gotten by us. And so I think it was a good play by Moore. Just, you know, take a slap, or Bell's got the shot big time. House lead to Timu, wow. and uh, got a one nothing game. So got Leaf, robbed on the uh, assist there. Or he's seen an edit Lions. You know, we don't see, uh, you know, normally you'll see maybe like a Savard or a LeBeau right. in the lineup there. Right. Moore going with the big time shot power guys. I mean, Muller and, and Bellows are pretty much the same type of player, just a different hand, one lefty, one righty. I agree. I would probably put like Foose, Dan Foose or, uh, or Savard in there, but let's see. Here we Savard's here. Savard. Nice shot. Oh, you know, double stack pads there, but could not find the net. And this might be an icing. Nope, looks like Watt touches up. Savard taking over. Here comes Zamnoff on the wing, looking for that one-timer potentially. Just floats it in there. Cost some chaos, Savard taking over. Oh, back to Dagnalt. Dagnalt to Captain Kirk. Essenza with Penalty. the recovery. Here comes Hausley taken down and back to Evgeny Davidoff. We got a delayed penalty. Extra attacker on for Winnipeg. Leaf looking up to go too. Hausley trying to feed the quick one timer and the spacing just wasn't right there. No one there. And, and it, it is why. I mean, let's give him that. <laughs> it is why. You know, the thing is, you got someone super fast like Hausley. He's up. You know, dangling in front, trying to create a passing lane, but no one else is there to catch up with him, so he was just left to throw it on net. Teplin Newman and just crushed, and uh, Gilbert Dion is going to go into the box. Big chance here. Uh, leave two-man advantage. This would be a good time for the Jeremy Roenick three-way challenge. Mort playing great defense. He just has Bellows in the middle, clogging it up, so it's, gonna, it's actually going to be hard for Leaf to get some uh, room. He's doing the right thing, dancing around to get these players out of position, looking for the one-timer. There it is. Just didn't get it off. All right, so saved by Wah. Floater, and it looks like Davidoff is going to take this the other way. It was cleared, and it ends the first period. one nothing. Winnipeg over Montreal. What do you see in that first period? It's a good game. Uh, I like the way both these guys are playing. It's a little little tight, but I think Mort's doing a good job now. He's down two guys. He's got to just survive this pa uh, penalty kill. And then both guys are pressing, and both guys are being pretty patient on defense to limit those one-timer opportunities. I think you're going to start seeing some more slap shots and just drives to the net like this here. Just Stand to go off. right in. Nice guess by Wa. Mort doing a good job here. Brian Bellows going yeah. for that slapper. Just not enough on it, yeah. and Essence is there. It looks like he might be a little cold because that. you're right. There's not a lot of power on that slap shot. So here comes Solani. Takes his own one on two. He don't care. Press the floater in there, and Dagnall takes it out. Trying to set up that one time Captain Kirk in the middle. In there. And Newmanen is there. Newmanen. Really hard when you're waiting for your center to get into position. He's not there. Ooh. Nice, nice cross. I think Mort wants that one back. He took the goalie a little early. Waz not going to give those up. All right, back to it. Bell set center. Safard on the wing. Goes all the way across out of his position. Picked up He's gonna let this by Muller on the right. Gonna go for the slapper game, it looks like. A little far out there, but I, 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 I one's gonna squeak by if he keeps trying it. He'll get one on there. Moore continues to put the pressure now. Solani with the puck. Dangling gets tripped up. Davidoff with the puck. It's a great he's, play by play chops you got there. He's looking, thank you. Yeah. Just trying, I knew you were getting some questions. I figured I'd fill in for a second. That's that, that's <laughs> the uh, the burden and the joy of, uh, of running these things, but. Um, he had so much support that it's been unbelievable. Back to the game, Solani, uh, really no one in front. In fact, you'd like to get that someone else. Exactly. You don't want you don't want to look for this one timer with your center because your wingers are going to be on the wing. Dagnalt picks up the loose puck, feeds it up. No one wants it. Here comes Solani, enters right the in, zone. Right He's got a lot of speed, it. and there's your third goal and a hat trick for Timu Solani's Winnipeg Jets. Finish flash. That's the guy you'd want to really keep an eye on, especially on those uh, breakaways. Three goals for him. Dig Nolt trying to one timer and was there. I think he wanted to go for uh, for Solani. Housley ended up stealing that one timer opportunity. Oh no! That was the weird computer bug yeah. controlling it. You know you're not having a good game when you uh, when you're trying to one timer and the computer takes over for you and you have nothing to do. That's it's in the game. Bad luck, but in the game, that's EA's slogan here. All right, the three nothing game here. Uh, Leif Erickson in a, in a pretty comfortable lead. Uh, certainly not uh, out of the question, although, um, you know, seeing a little more weight buggers on the ice might help a little bit. Yeah, I don't, 
uh, you know, it's, it, I don't see a lot of offense coming out from Ward aside from long-range shots, and, and those shots aren't necessarily having a lot of mustard on them, so... Oh! Ooh, we got another goal holder, Evgeny Davidoff with Alexei Zamnov with the apple. 4 nothing, and this is starting to get out of hand. I agree. This one's going to be really, really tough now for Mort. Winnipeg at home. The music's blaring. The organ's playing. Uh, not, you know, passes aren't clicking uh, for Montreal. This is just uh, going to be extremely difficult for Mort to rise a comeback here. Montreal certainly uh, requires a level of patience and trust, and you got to put those bodies around Wa. Very tough team to use because there's no single individual superstar Ooh, on Montreal to use. So you got to have an even game, a lot of like, you know, inside one timers, etc. But uh, very, very tough. Solani with a. Might uh, be all she wrote right here. Yeah, fourth goal. I'm looking for the fifth. Oh, nice manual there to keep that. Very nice manual. Keep it from going to uh, Mercy. Savard. So this is a best of three. Uh, it looks like Leafs going to go up one nothing here. Um, he was the home player, so after this, Mort will be home, and will pick the tier. Will be interesting to see. And there's your six nothing mercy roll. What Mort decides to go with here? Uh, you know, does he want to slow the game down and pick one of those lower tier matches? Does he want to go right to the top tier one? Uh, it'll be interesting to see how he counters this. Um, I think I think he just ran into a really cold Montreal team, and you know, Winnipeg once they started getting hot, Leaf just put it on there, couldn't stop him. So we'll have a game reset here. We'll find out what the next matchup is. Um, you know, I, I kind of wish you were eliminated from the tournament. You could just hang out here with all day. I, you know what? I enjoy it, too. So if I, if, if, if I get, you know, booted out, I'm going to plot right down here and do some commentary. I love it. It's fun. All right. Well, back to it. If you're enjoying the stream today, I really appreciate maybe a like on the video and share that out. Maybe on social media, uh, Twitter. Facebook, whatever you're, uh, if you're on the gram, as they say, uh, send that out. You know, you know, there are a lot of retro gamers that think something like this would be fun to watch, and certainly the effort in the presentation has been unbelievable. Who's who, guys? Dallas. Dallas. Right. So, Modano, more problems <laughs> for the guy with the Modano jersey. I got Dallas, Toronto here. <clears throat> Interesting. I like this matchup for Mort actually. Dallas, you know, on the road. Tends to get a little wonky if uh, you know if if Madano and, and Courtno are the two main guys for for Dallas if they are not clicking, uh, it could be just exactly the reverse of what we just saw in the first matchup. So I'm I'm curious to see how how this kind of plays out. And I do like Toronto because Gilmore could knock down the entire Dallas lineup just on his own. And I'm assuming I didn't even look at the lineup, but I think Mort's got Gilmore at center and he's going to be a problem for the entire Dallas team and I like I just like this matchup I think Mort's going to make this a, a much closer game than game one for sure well let's see if Gilmore lights the lamp like he said in his cameo yes uh, that was really awesome if you haven't seen that uh go on that uh, edge of 94 Facebook page and Doug Gilmore actually you know gave a shout out uh for this tournament it was great pretty sure he did in one take <laughs> right, here's Gilmore Get in there, Moore. Get in there. Let's see if Gilmore's there Gilmore or Gil less today. Oh, we've got the deflection. Tenority brings it up and feeds it to Broughton. Speaking of Broughton, we got two jerseys with his name on it today, signed by him. Cortnell. And looks like Potvin's there. Ellick, is that, I'm sorry, that's, is it Anderchuk? Yep. Oh, excuse uh, me. Anderchuk. I was thinking of uh, someone else. All right, so. With three is, oh, who is that? I don't remember now. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm a little, uh. It's not El Ellet, is it? No, Ellet's four. Okay, so Gilmore gets on the board here. Oh, Bob Rouse. Bob Rouse is on the number three. I didn't even have to look it up. All right, Mort gets the first goal here. Um, goes up one nothing on Toronto, puts one on net, creating some confusion already. I could tell there's a difference between game one and this game here. One-timer coming in. I think he was looking for Madano. Ended up going all the way out to Tenorti. Um, You're and there's a hook, like. Jamie McCown in the box. Ellett's not even on the, on the uh, ice here. Face-off coming in, lost by Dallas, regains the puck. Broughton's looking for the one-timer. He's got it. Didn't let it loose. Just, I think, was a little hesitant on the trigger. Regains the puck, though. Mort's got to get this out of here. There it is. Get it out. Is Wendell Clark not on the ice? I think he's got Borshevsky, Gilmore, and... It could be, let's see, who's the third guy? I just, I 14 feel like, is Andrew Chuck, you're right. Yeah, the, the offensive pressure that can be generated here by Dallas is is infuriating. Uh, we're going to see if the shot accuracy comes into play. Here comes Gilmore. Gilmore just got molested in the middle. No call. 
Looking for the one-timer. Good try, good try by Mort there. Could have snuck it in short side. Snorting to Broughton, can't handle it. This is what I mean by, by Dallas. They, nothing is clicking for them. They're not in the line. Good, good try by Mort. He's got a shot. He got and it. And there is the Ander Chuck driving at home slapper. This is more set up the way that Mort likes to play. Totally. And I mean, at home, he's got the he's got that a little extra boost. Yeah, this is totally what I was just saying before this started, that I, I ex you could see a complete 06 reversal just between the way these two teams are and the way these two teams play. So, so far, it's Nice really, it's floater really with Gilmore. Moore. Really like this matchup here uh, for Mort, and uh, my prophecy's coming true. You played so a couple of games in 94, huh? A couple. Yeah. Yeah. Used a lot of teams. So 3 nothing lead here uh, in the first game is early. Modano can uh, strike dangerous. in a hurry. Ooh, crushed right into Poffin, but Poffin stands tall. And that's into the first period. 3 nothing Mort over Leif Erickson, who is up one nothing in the series. Now, here's the counter to that, though. Dallas, if they do get clicking, can put up three goals extremely quickly because probably one of the faster teams in the league next to uh, Vancouver with both uh, Modano and Cortnall with five and six speed. Got to love that six speed from Cornell. It can be a little tricky at times. Very. All right, here comes Gilmore, breakaway. Nope, taken down. Oh, he's still going. Oh, tried to deke him short side. Casey's there, and here comes the speed from Cornell. He's got to put it on that. Uh, he doesn't look like a six-speeder guy right now. The road may be playing a factor. And here had comes to Gilmore. To Nordy in the way. Nice, had him open. Double stack pads there from John Casey. Flopping her all like a dead fish. Not a dead fish if you're flopping. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Borchewski. Borchewski got the puck. Is Gilmore going to come to the center? Nope. Little Just a little behind the timing. That, that's what I like about Gilmore, though. He's going to knock around all those Dallas players uh, with ease with that super lightweight of his. This is dangerous. All right, here comes Gilmore. Got to get it to the wing if you can. And we'll give and oh. go. Trust the one-timer there. Casey's there. Right in front of him. Good shot. Borchewski with a nice CB check. Here he goes. Rouse. And Neil Rotten, weight bugger extraordinaire coming into the zone. This might be an opportunity. Oh, and it's, it's there. Madonna gets it. Oh, excuse me. That, uh, Broughton got the, the credit there. Yeah, I think I think the Toronto defenseman just crashed into uh, Potman and with the puck. Mort looks upset at that, and I understand yeah. some of those garbage goals happen. When you, when you put the puck on the net, you never know what can happen. He's got to, yeah, Mort's got to get this under control because this is like feeling like Dallas is controlling the play here and they're going to put a couple goals up really nice quick. Nice check there. So, all right, Borshevsky, look for look for uh, Gilmore coming to the center for the one-timer. He's got him right there. Ooh, to Nordy, huge check. Here comes Gilmore, slapper time. Ooh. Oh. It's like his own player got on the way. Borshevsky intercepted it. Madonna's coming up. This is very dangerous. Nice break up there by there. Rouse. Floater not there. Here comes Cornell. Clears the puck. 3-1 as we enter the third period. Exciting game. Yeah, definitely. Good good period for Leaf. Kind of settled down. Didn't give up another goal. Got one on the board. Uh, not ideal, but, you know, now the deficit's only two. And we'll see here. and we'll see if uh, Mort likes going up back again here. Try to get some of that momentum back to Toronto. This is good right here. Got, got uh, McGillney, uh, not McGillney, uh, <clears throat> Gilmore going a little too far out. McCown. Was it Jamie McCown? Jamie McCown. Oh, okay. So, uh, Took the shot. One time I was there. Oh, Madonna just it flipped instead of. Breakaway. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Put back is not there. Mort's, now Madonna has an opportunity. Mort's going to want that one back. That's we got a penalty, a penalty shot. shot. Huge, huge opportunity. The here. most exciting play in all of sports. Oh, what? Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Potvin stones him. Went around. Remains off, three to one here. McCown over the net. Yeah, I feel like you know, Mort got off to a really hot start, got those three goals, and he's really just surviving now. Can't really get anything going. Couple different shots. That's a good opportunity. Nice rebound. manual goalie there by Leaf Erickson to keep that out of net. And Leaf's going to have a, a chance here to try to get one more. Really make Mort sweat if he can get one on net. He should probably start rushing up with with uh, Russ Cortnell here. So Ooh. it it looked well. It looks like a delayed penalty here. This is where you want Cortnell taken down, and that'll freeze the uh, the play here. Interference. Doug Gilmore's coming off the ice. That'll be huge. Your weight bucker's gone. Opportunity. Big, big, big opportunity here for Leaf. He wins his face off. He might do a quick one-timer and loses it. 
course, we'll see if the defense goes into a disarray like they like to Good do. Good play by Moore. Oh, 26. That's Kruschelski. Uh, Kruschelniski. Kruschel. Shortened down because they can't fit that many oh, really? characters into that's the last That's amazing. <laughs> Yay for 16-bit technology. Yeah, he was one of the... Uh, uh, of course, there's a post somewhere on the forums about all the players whose names are shortened down, but Kruschelniski is one of them. Learn something every time I do one of these broadcasts. Oh, oh boy. Courtnell drives it home. So Dean on the assist. It's 4 2. Just like that. Back to a two good game. Time becoming a factor now for Leaf. He's got 142 left here. Wins the face up, comes right in. Good, uh, good play by him. Mort's going to try to just hang on. This is good for him. Clock's in his favor right now. So Dean trying to get up the ice is not the guy. Now there's some speed. Modano brings it into the zone. And just going to go for that cheese. Nice. No, it's not there. Good, good manual. Very good. One timer, got him. And there is your icing goal with the hat trick, Doug Gilmore. Three goals and 50 seconds taller. More playing better going up here. First and third period is where he scored all five of his goals. And here we go. So it looks like, again, this is game two of the best of three. Ooh, rotten. Um, it's not over. It's not over. You know, uh, Leaf is up one nothing here. Mort trying to force a game three. Uh, he's 30 seconds away from doing so. And it looks like he's going to have it, unless there's a real quick goal breakaway here, not going to happen. So we're going to have a game three, Troy, right in the opening round, which is awesome. Unbelievable. Well, huge win for Mort here to force game three, of course. Uh, Leif Erickson now gets the call. And my son just brought me french fries, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> Great series, guys. Keep going. Make it good. Would you like a French fry? Yeah. Well, if you work for me, I give you French fries. <laughs> good deal. Good payment. I don't eat meat anymore, so. How do we freeze up? Reset. Well, it's French fry break here. As we get game three figured out. So Leap's going to be home for game three. He's going to pick the tier. We'll collect all the results in order after uh, game three concludes on the stream here. So just hang on to your results, we'll get you going. What is it? I think AJ got eliminated, right? AJ's out? Yeah, yeah, again. One day, one day he'll get, he'll, he'll get it. All right, let's see what the matchups are. I think Leaf called a tier. It looks like Mort's looking at the sheet, figure out which team he wants to use. Elimination game, you know? This is, uh, this is where your bomb starts sweating, a little more He's weak, mom spaghetti. <laughs> exactly. Let's see. So, uh, how has your experience been this weekend so far? It's been awesome. You know, I got got in last night and uh, staying at the Moxie Hotel, and they were really cool to allow you guys to like set up all those um, monitors and, and systems. So we were just hanging out in the lobby, right by the bar. Really great way to just kind of like ease into the weekend. And then today, you know, this uh, uh, the poor house is. I mean, this is a really phenomenal place to set up. Not only do we have the center tables everywhere, this main live stream that's being, that we're looking at is up on the stage just for everyone who's trying to set the, a picture of what it's like. You're up on the stage. There's a big screen for everyone to watch. It's being simulcast to about seven other TVs within the poor house for you to watch. There's a lounge in the back. You could sit and just watch this as well. Uh, an amazing setup so far. So uh, it, it's been, this is, uh, look, it's A+. Plus. It doesn't get better than this. I can't imagine it. I, I say that last year, but this you've outdone yourself even this year. This is a, a well, truly an amazing venue. Had, had an amazing amount of support from the community. Uh, Leif Erickson and his amazing team and contributions uh, as our main sponsor um, can't be possibly measured. Um, the efficiency of his team, I mean, we were right up to the bell. And by the time, just a couple of stages, these guys are so fantastic. Once we got through the opening ceremonies, we were ready to go on the stream. I thought we were going to be in trouble. Um, and all of a sudden, boom, the, the wizardry came out and made it happen. So, AB for you, making it happen here for us. That's totally awesome. I was not expecting the Rockets right glare, by the way, uh, for the fireworks to come out when I was singing. <laughs> that was a surprise. Yeah, again, uh, I hope someone got – I was not having my phone out while during the National Anthem, but I hope someone had some video or – or, um, oh, there's the there fireworks. Yes. Game three fireworks. See it on the stream. Our stream is cooler than yours. We've got fireworks. They tell me that that won't burn you. 
All right, well, here we go. Home is uh, Winnipeg, Boston is the two matchups. So we just saw Winnipeg. I'm assuming then. Home team is going to be. It's going to be Leaf is Boston. Then, okay, so Leaf is Boston and Mort is Winnipeg. Yeah, because Leaf was Winnipeg. Oh, yeah, that's before. right. And he, he, yeah. Otherwise, he would just put a forfeit at the game. <laughs> Don't Not a way rules. to go out there. All right, this should be a really good matchup. I like this. Apparently, sponsors can get away with it. No, we're skidding. All right, here comes Housley. Let's see how Mort does here with Housley. He's he's using them in there. Oh, my God, abused. Andy Moog just got coast shoved in net. Coast Phil Housley. He is in such a dangerous weapon on defense. One of the very few defensemen that you'd want to even try that with. Um, and great job by Mort to put up one nothing already. We'll see if Ray Bork and company can He's going to release that damage. cannon. He tried to. So hard to do that. There's so much speed that gets to you, and then you lose that momentum. Zaminoff, Sweeney intercepts. I like this one-timer opportunity. Ooh. That was a good look there. Scam wanted it, but he didn't get it. Yep, yep. Cam just uh, just missed it. He had it. Here's Housley again. Both standing there. Oh, oh Zaminoff with the putback. We've got a 2 nothing game. So, Schmidt. Would you like to redact your opinion? Borsato over Zamnoff is what Schmidt wants to see. Adam Oates. So nearly back to Oates. Interceptor comes Stefan Newman and Newman and into the zone. Not the guy you want handling the puck. Ideally, here comes Sweeney and taking up now. Is that Borsato? Oh. Borsato uh, with the feet. I didn't see who took the shot. Cam going in the way and flips one up. Got the rebound. Here comes Borsato again. Hard to hit down. Borsato, weight bugger. Yeah, he's four weight, uh, pretty much why you'd want to put him in there. Otherwise, I, yeah, I'd probably want to see, I'd like Shamnoff or Davidov instead of, a, or Davidov instead of a Borsato. Here's Juno, he's on the, you know, a lot of times you see him at center. Uh, but here comes Borsato into the zone. Uh, could not get, let, let go of the puck. And here comes Housley, Bork is there. Oh, he's got a one-timer opportunity. Oh, yeah. Did not pass it back. Still another one-timer opportunity, they're all over. He's just, he just abusing. Oh, Mug puts it his own net. Phil Housley, second Housley goal. Housley, not denied, man. He's held on to the puck. Tries to get tripped up, keeps it on, and just pushes Moog into the net. It's the dirtiest of all goals. He is absolutely causing havoc here for uh, for Boston. Joe Juno trying to go short side. Tepo Newman is there. Borsato, as we're running out of time here. And now here's Sweeney the other way. He's got a Break cavalcade. Got to get one off here. Good one shot. Oh, oh post. Essensa is there. I think they hit the post. I think it ripped by him. Oh, yeah. I heard the little dink. Well, if, if, if it comes down to a one-goal game, we'll say that the, the post was the MVP, the number one star. They're playing really well here. Juno on the wing, trying to find something, uh -huh. and it loses the puck. Juno good enough to take that shot. You could let that rip and probably get by Essensa. Borsato getting harassed, and now he's got some penetration in to near the net, got and him. there is a shot. Borsato with his fourth goal. He's got to turn this around now. <clears throat> Oates. Oates coming right in. He's got a great nice manual, manual goalie. Goal. More really, I mean, I, again, I played him earlier. That is one of the things I noticed he's doing very well is the manual goalie. He, he, he may run into a little trouble where he's over aggressive on the manual, but uh, more often than not, it's going to pay dividends for him like it did there. So, Neely able to loosen some things up, and now he's got the puck. And he just feeds it in. I don't know if that was intentional. Oats not there. Giveaway. Essence on the way. One timer. Oh. Juno misses the net. That's just bad luck on, uh, on Leaf's part there. That should have been a goal. Essence of flopping around. Here comes Phil Housley. Housley on the left, taken down by Sweeney. Sweeney moves it to Solani. Zamnoff maybe set up for a one-timer. Nope, here comes Bork. A lot of hitting. Let it fly if you're going to have Bork. So Bork is so heavy that he goes down easily. Hard to carry the puck with him. Uh, the guy right here, Don Sweeney, you really, this is a good puck carrier. Hard to hit down. Although, good poke check out. Oh, and look, it looked like there might have been a, a slap shot opportunity, but Solani to Zamnoff. Zamnoff on the wing. Who's it to? Oh, it's bad pass. And here's Juno on the wing. One timer. One timer. Just ah. There it is. Just the first goal of the game, and that could be the start of something here for Leaf. You like to get this within the two goal deficit before the period ends. If yeah, you can. got one. Yeah, minute ten here. This is uh, well, actually now Mort's going up, so this would be the period I would expect him to put some more in. But another opportunity, Housley. He's absolutely owning Boston right now. 
gets taken out. Sweeney Todd, as they call him. Oh, yeah, the one-timer. Another one-timer. Nope. Just not releasing it. Potential one-timer here if he can get it to slow. Nope, we went for the slapper. Borsado not there. Nope. Temple Newman taken no. down into the second period. 4-1. I feel, like, I feel like I've been talking a lot today. Well, you're doing the commentary. Oh, is that why? Okay, <laughs> shoot. That's, that's your, is that how that works? That's your role, yeah. Are you, so are you, get, you got games set up now for your own uh, play? Um, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. No, are you playing in the Genesis or are you just doing commentary? I'm just doing commentary oh, the entire day. I got you. Can't have all this excellence and not have someone behind the mic, right? As fun as that would be, don't get me wrong, I love playing. That's why I got my fix in yesterday. That's awesome. So and Brian, there's always XEs later at the hotel, right? Nonstop. We got those HD systems now. We can just plug those bad boys in. So, Brian, I actually do get that sometimes. Uh, I look like Lemieux. Not Lindros, but definitely Lemieux. So, just over three minutes remaining here. We got three goal deficit here. Leaf uh, playing for his playoff life, tournament life for this Genesis version. And we got a delayed penalty, and Housley touches up. So we'll see who cheated. Looks like Solani's coming off the ice. That could be helpful. All right, the Leafs got to put it together here now. Uh, take the puck up with Juno or Sweeney and try to feed Cam Neely for one time or just to get it in there. Now's your chance. Needs three goals and 244. He's got the power play. Four and four skating, or excuse me, five and four. All right, Juno. Put it on net. There it is. That's a good shot. That's what he wanted just to hit net. That's twice Juno missed the net here. He had the one-timer missed open net, and he had the uh, he had the open side. I don't think Mort would have made it in time on, on the goalie. You got to get some CB checking going on Borsado. They keep bumping off of him. Yep. There's another one, Borsado. Rebound, oh, rebound. EA special. Oh. Had it. Oats. Go of course, right. Mort part of that Chicago crew where EA is from and picking up on that trick. That's very deadly. So the EA special, for those who don't know, it's a rebound goal where you you could float one, you could do a wrister, however you want to the goalie. Goalie gives up an easy rebound, and you just kind of continue the momentum with your player and stuff it into the open net. Uh, very hard to defend, and if you could execute it, a uh, very high percentage play. Let's it fly, just killing 30 seconds here. Mort here. looks like he's going to advance here. Goes, loses the first game 06. That's unbelievable. And then wins the next two. I just think he got the bad matchup Ooh. with... Uh, with a cold Montreal, because I knew he was better than that, and you know, he's really, you know, uh, put it together in his last two games. Great well, match. Well, part of two, he, the lineup he had just wasn't no. built right for how it, how you wanted to play it. Right. So, wow, in in comeback fashion, Mort defeats our sponsor Leaf Erickson, so he may be relegated to booth work. We'll see. Yeah. You're going to have a game here pretty soon. So we're going to go to the We'll Be Right Back screen uh, as we advance the next round of the tournament. So stay with us here, Edge of 94 Midwest. I'm Trojan with King Raff. Thanks for being on the mic, man. Thanks for having me. I'm sure we'll have you on a stream pretty soon. Looking forward to it. All right, thanks. Mort, what a series, bud. Oh, yeah. Wow. Good. That's what I was saying. You win 06, and then I, I actually Tough predicted break, the Toronto Dallas matchup. I'm like, you I like that for more. Ball. And then you win that one, and then that game three was, uh, I didn't know how it was going to go. Really close. Wait, it was unstoppable. Unstoppable. Just, he was just abusing. All right, if you could start coming up and reporting uh, your results. Um, two one. If you are eliminated from contention uh, from the Genesis tournament, come grab a prize out of the bin. Jerry can come grab a prize. Um, Jim D can go grab a prize as well. And we've got uh, EA DPS. Is that how it goes over that series? Uh, Ryan A and T Vota, where are we at on that? Okay. 
Any uh, Joe's bracket information? Shannon and Phil? Okay, supply, okay. And then, uh, okay. Make sure you fill out your sheet, they'll still hang on to it too. Was it 2 nothing? Okay. All right, we're going to get Carter F. And Shannon. So Shannon, where's Carter? Okay. We're gonna push Shannon. And then we'll get um, Eric S. and Dan Keel M7.
Jeffrey J. and Ryan A. will be playing. Right, I'd like to get hit. Go ahead, uh, Shannon. Uh, Jason. Jason. Okay, I'd like to get. Uh, so the next matchups are King Wrath and Kevin C. We're already playing. EA is going to play Derek on stream. So, uh, can I get EA and Derek on the stage, please? Derek Anthony. Derek Anthony to the stage. Thank 
against Derek. Angry Jay should be playing Ryan A. You guys are connected? Awesome. Chris O should be playing Mort. Chris O, you're playing Mort. Chris is the higher seed, Angry J is the higher seed, EA is the higher seed, King Rap is the higher seed. Carter F, you should be playing Shannon. Carter is the higher seed, should be at home first. Eric S is playing Dan, is that happening yet? Awesome. Shannon's still on the premise? Oh. Leif Erickson to the broadcaster's booth. Leif Erickson to the broadcaster's booth. Dude, Mort? Um, keep, keep it open. Um. Dude, Mort, it was the tale of two games, man. That first game, I was like, I got this guy. And then, man, he just changed his style of play. He changed everything. Montreal's too plucky for him. He needs, he needs some out. Offensive power. Yeah. But like even his style of play was different. He just changed everything up. I'm sorry crazy. that's a early exit, bud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, you gotta play up there. Do you have a uh, bracket up anywhere? So apparently I can't chat in that. I, I did post it in uh, Discord. So they're here. Okay. Um, if he can see Discord, he could post this. That's okay. That's okay. As a as a text thing or whatever. Yeah. I have a syntax error that the link as far as what I, from the name from the naming convention, but it actually yeah. works. All right. All right, so they got to figure that out. Where's, my, where's your opponent? Oh, here's Eric Anthony holding the show up. I tell you, young man. All right, so I am here with the Leaf Erickson, owner of AV for You, our number one sponsor and uh, originator of all of this awesomeness. 
How's it going? It's going well, man. It's uh, it, it couldn't be going better, actually. Today is is what we all do this for, and it's it just came together so well. It's, awesome. It's and you got to be about this close for it to pick I'll you up. I'll eat it. Yep, oh, yeah, I'm there. You're on right. it. All right. But hey, man, you've you you've really knocked it out of the park. This this hologram thing, the fireworks, pyrotechnics, uh, this group shot for the the, the whole scenery, uh, could not have. And and as we we talked about. Just making this laptop do a direct capture, not doing any of the other stuff or the processing. And I don't think we've been dropping frames or anything. This has been just smooth as butter. The computer doesn't have to do the work. You, right. you, you cut the scene in the head. Everything you said that would happen has happened. <laughs> as, uh, we How dare place. you be on point? Right, 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 right. Well, that's what we do, man. This is, uh, you know, AV for you is what we do. And and uh, we love doing fun stuff like this. Yeah. So I'm having a blast. Uh, I love having my son bring me French fries. Um, <laughs> he's become my servant. No, he's been, he's he's in in the consolation uh, bracket now. Um, somehow the way it cut off, he ended up being the one seed there. Uh, Dude, see, he he took me to overtime. See, you know, you know, he, if he just puts his head together. So what was that matchup? He he put up tier one, and I took Vancouver and gave him Chicago just because I know he's a Chicago guy. So I thought I thought yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. And then here the kid comes out just. Guns blazing, hammering away on me, and it, we, it, we got into a fight. You know? Oh my gosh! You know, so yard it, sale. Yeah, it went, it went, it went to OT. So, yeah, everyone's everyone's here to play today. So we're gonna have a matchup soon here between uh, Derek Aho and EA. EA is one notch a higher, um, and uh, we'll see how these guys are are doing. Both really just mowed through the competition in group play. It, look at the camera. So uh, Jared getting the shot for us here. Um, What's so, no, no. St. Louis, Derek's uh, St. Louis away. Derek is St. Louis. And you're who? Derek's St. Louis away. I'm uh, Hartford home. EA is going to be the whale. Uh, little known fact, Derek, Derek's got some hours on St. Louis. This, this, might, this might play all right for him. We'll see if the uh, Nelson Emerson... Uh, Weight factor comes into play here. Yeah. You know, you're going to try to slap everything past Burke with Hull. What's the other team? Yeah, I don't. The Whalers and the Blues. Derek's not a blue line slapper kind of guy, um, so he'll be working the the Shanahan uh, a one time angle as much as he can. I think. Yeah. You've probably played him more than any other human. More than any human times by a factor of ten. Yeah, by far. I'm going to defer to your expertise then in that in that area. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get to uh, we get to take a few lunch breaks uh, every week and play rip off some games at work, so it's 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 good. Nice. Yeah. What did you think about the the way that we have the the game set up on the for the stream as far as the uh, the different screens and and you know? Well, playing in HD like that, uh, I was skeptical, but. It's beautiful. It's it's great. It's, it's a whole new experience. It's it's not. I don't know that it's better or worse because analog is is the vintage and what feels warm and fuzzy and all that. But but there's there's an argument to be made, and then there's just a a technical niceness to being digital because all your switches are digital and all your you know ins and outs and everything now with with. Uh, video signal and moving it around it's just so much easier when you're when you're digital and were you looking at the HD screen or were you looking at the CRT when you're playing oh I was on the left I was on the, okay. on the HD screen so, yeah, yeah the, the one on the right is it, it, it's an instant conversion to analog from uh, on the VGA from the HDMI and uh, with and it's legless so the we wanted to get anyone who would that would be concerned about that right uh, but that's gonna look better than any CRT right right all right, we are live. All right, so let's switch over to the game scene. Oh, look at that. That, that was sexy, that transition. Uh, here's a little brass bonanza for everyone at home. Sanderson at center. One timer, Pat Verbeek misses the Mark Cujo, scoops it up. Hull gives it to Emerson, who's taken away. Verbeek. Playing around, loses it. Shanahan can't quite get to it. Burke is there. Back to Verbeek. There's the EA special. It is picked up by Jeff Brown. Brown feeds it into Shanahan. The one timer is missed. Emerson unable to do the work. Here comes Shanahan at center again. Tries to go for the pass shot. Not there. Breakaway opportunity. No, taken by. 
Is, is that Brown? Yeah, Brown and Butcher in there. I always, I always mix them up. Anyway. Yeah, not going to be much help, but... Um, here comes Emerson on the breakaway, and it is cleared. Picked up by Cujo. Cujo feeds it out. Here comes Emerson. Emerson gives to Shannon, takes the zone. One time, are you just like you called at the give and go? And it's one nothing, St. Louis. Yeah, Derek. Derek really moves the puck well. Uh, that's he, he. He he he'll he'll hurt you if you're not uh, shutting down those passing lines. Verbeek up here with EA, and Cujo is there again. It's Brown, Brown to Shanahan. Butcher back to Shanahan, who resets. Tries to gain the zone and flips it to Hull. Flull, I'm sorry, Hull going for the slap shot. It is stopped. Here's Sanderson, EA special again. The rebound is there, but here comes Brown. Brown to Hull, Hull in the wing. Slapper is wide out of the arena. Hull's got the power, just to putting it on net is the, uh, the issue at hand. So what are you seeing so far here in this one nothing game? Well, you know, uh, Derek plays a good stuff defense. He, he clogs the middle. He he doesn't he does not chase. Um, and and true to form, he's holding he's holding the middle. And uh, EA's penetrated a few times, but but just has not quite gotten the rebound that he's looking for. So it looks like the shield uh, talking junk. EA lucky I'm not there to knock him out again. Uh, thanks to the shield, donated most of the prizes that are here today. Wish you were here, bud. Here comes Emerson. And picked up. Touched by the Whalers. Looks like Sanderson's going to the box. They're going to see configuration. We see Castles at center. Maybe we'll put Terry Yakin, the weight bugger. Sometimes you see Verbeek at center. Okay, that's what he's going to go for yeah. that shot. Uh, Sanderson's in the box. Here we go. Emerson handles it one timer. Shanahan. Sean Brook is there. It's Terry Yake. Does not go short side. Quick wow. one timer there to Verbeek. As Arlie Zalapsky handles the puck, gains the zone. Quick one timer to Terry Yake, and that is a tied game. We have 1 1. Nice pass. Good movement there by EA. Yeah, very nice. He he could have flashed the center. Just I think I think Derek bit on a, a pass to the center and, and his winger was right there. So back to Yake. Yake finally taken down. Emerson is there. Verbeek gets in the way and reset. Still in the offensive zone. Brown feeds it to Butcher. Butcher loses it. Emerson loses it to Verbeek, who now has a breakaway opportunity. Here he comes. And Cujo is there, but the putback by Yake, and it's a 2-1 game. EA takes the lead, and time for a reconfiguration here. Yeah, I haven't played EA a ton, but he's really an opportunity scorer. He, 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 he pounces on those pucks right around the net. Um, more often than not, in the few games I've had played him, that's how he, how he scores. 2-1 game here in the second period, 150 remaining. Zalapsky he gets intercepted by Emerson. Emerson handles it, feeds it up to Hall. Looking for that Shanahan one-timer. It's not smooth there, so he was just standing in front of the goaltender. Cujo intercepted. Here comes Hull. Wheelers are knocked down. Sanderson to Yake. Emerson to Shanahan. Shanahan on the breakaway, but he is slow. Feeds it to Hull. Nice one-time attempt, but Burke is there. Here comes Verbeek the other direction to Yake. Tries to put a quick one on net. He's there. Is Cujo, and it's the second period. 2-1, so close game here for game one. Yeah, not surprising. Um, these two are pretty pretty evenly matched, really. Garth Butcher here with the face-off 
fielding here. Quick one timer to Shanahan, and Burke is there. Buck is up to Verbeek. Hall comes the other way. And Verbeek is loose. Back on the wing, he's got the far post, and he's got a goal. 3-1 lead for EA. That happened. Like I said, that was very opportunistic. Yeah, yeah. And we got the marsh peg net mooring off there. So 3-1. Uh, With four minutes remaining here in the third period, Verbeek on the wing, taken down by Emerson. You're going to lose that battle. Here comes Zalapski. Feeds it up to Verbeek. Tries to feed across to Yake, but is intercepted. Hall now to Emerson. Emerson to Shanahan. Shanahan looking for an opportunity. Might want to get it off his... It goes now to Brown. Jeff Brown to Nelson Emerson. Wanted to feed it, and it is intercepted, I think, by Adam Burt. Here comes Verbeek. we got an extra attacker on the ice. And we've got the quick one-timer to Sanderson from Verbeek. Adam Burt with, also with the apple. And we have a 4-1 game. EA extending his lead in game one. And we're going to have a penalty shot, possibly. Here we go. The most exciting play in all of sports. Nelson Emerson against Sean Burke. And stands tall. Does EA. Four one game here, just over two minutes remaining in the third period. Derek needing to forge some offensive opportunities here. And there is the Sanderson one timer. Perfectly placed. Top shelf where Mama keeps the peanut butter. EA's seeing the Matrix, man. He's he's really, really firing on all cylinders. Sean Burke, nice collision there. To get this muster offense out of the Whalers is pretty impressive. It's that brass bonanza, it pumped them up. Yeah, it, 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 that's no that's no small thing when you get scored on and 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 that's hammering away in your ears. It 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 puts you off your game. You're hammering that C check a little harder and you're overplaying pucks. Puck bouncing around here just under a minute remaining. 5-1 game. Kujo with the save. And just lets it run loose here. So this game is essentially in the books. And we'll see if Derek has an answer in game two. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess he's going to move it up a tier or two. Um, I'm going to look for him to pick tier two here. 5-1 your score. EA takes game one. And we'll see uh, Derek be the home team and call a matchup uh, shortly. So if you're out there in chat land, appreciate a like on the video. If you want to share this out on social media, let the world know we exist. I think there's a lot of people in the world that doesn't know, that don't know that NHL 94 tournaments are a thing. And we want to help them discover everything that we're doing here. Not just here, but also community-wide. Uh, there's a great community around NHL 94. Great people. You can play the game online against one another. This is a great opportunity to meet those people live, live tournaments. It's more than just a video game. It's a community. Kevin, wait to advance. Yeah. What? You just write it down on the sheet. Yeah. Go pick a prize. Uh, go, 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 go get a figure. Just get one of those figures in the bottom. It's like the wishing well. Uh, just this just in. Uh, King Raff advances uh, two games to nothing over Kevin Caparello. Great guy here from Columbus, but his uh, Genesis Day is done. Yeah. So the winner of this. Gets to meet uh, King Raff in the next round. It's a, uh, it's a tall order. See, Angry J is still playing his uh, game with. Angry J is still playing his game with Ryan A. Chris and Mort. Yeah, they, that looks looks one. really super intense. I would have loved to get both those games on stream, but obviously right. you only have so much time to do that. But. Chris O handled me pretty good. I, I could score on him, but I, he, I just couldn't stop him. 
we were doing our pickup games last night. Right. Yeah. No. No. He's got. Uh, he's got a slightly different style. I don't know. I've, I've never. I haven't played him much. Um, but same. I only got one game against him, and uh, yeah, I didn't have a lot of answers for him. He's really good with Pittsburgh. So the teams are called. EA is going to be Boston. Derek's going to be Montreal, which is kind of his OG team. Um, like I say, Tier 2 is where I thought they'd land. We've just logged the hours there. Um, Boston's a rough and tumble team, man. They're tough to. They're tough on both ends of the ice. I don't know. This is a, this is a tall order for Derek to. Montreal just they've got the they got the the goalkeeper, but but there's just not a lot of dyna, you know dynamic offensive talent there. You know Kirk can hit the one timer, but you don't have a lot of guys who who really skate all that well. So I'm sorry, uh, EA is Boston. Is Boston okay? Do you got that EA is Boston? Dum, ba, dum, bum. I love how I can hear that the, the levels are so perfect. Like having an actual engineer actively <laughs> monitor everything. Yeah, kind of nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. As the guy that's had to do like literally everything in the past four years, this has been nice. I take, yeah, that, not, I, I not, I take that back. Our friend uh, uh, Ref did help with the, the yeah, scorekeeping. Yeah, was, not that you haven't been busy today, but yeah, take yeah. a couple of items off your plate. Yeah, I, I wasn't ready to shoot myself I mean it, it, it's, it's unbelievable just having just a little bit of help from your friends and just yeah. except I got a lot of help <laughs> we were just saying before um, the amount of time it would take me to set up it, it takes me less time to just drive out here right right and yeah. so yeah. you know uh, I, I see a, a pretty optimistic future here for what we're doing and how this can grow year to year. Yeah, and there's been there's been a little bit of nice networking going on today. We I ran into a couple of you know beer league hockey guys who were really excited about this and really really something that they could take back to their friends and talk up. So hopefully hopefully we'll start growing a grassroots organization here. Yeah, start uh, you know being a little more active outside just the tournament. You know, with the social media you know engagement and try to get people aware of what we're doing. And so they they start planning their uh, late Februarys around this tournament. Right. Right. Absolutely. And, and I mean, what? It's 40, 45 degrees here today. It's a beaut. It is a beaut. I haven't been out there. When I got walked out, it was cold when we were unloading all the gear. Cold. Well, it, was, it, it wasn't Minnesota cold. But, uh. Right. No, I mean, look, look you, can see, you can see the uh, all the overhangs are just running water. It's, it's a beautiful day in Minnesota. By the way, I love that Madonna jersey, man. That's fantastic. Right, yeah, yeah, just had, to, had to step up the game this year for this. Well, we were hoping for a potential appearance by a, a certain um, professional hockey player. Looks like that's probably not happening. I'm oh, guessing. I didn't follow up on that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, don't know. I, didn't, I didn't ask. King Rath, Rath is my favorite name. I'm confused. Okay, I, I think the guy is just misspelled. Middle face yeah. doom misspelling King Rath. All right, it's, his first name is Raphael. Okay, well, back to this guy. I think they're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to start. All right, game two, elimination time for Derek, unless he can force game three. So Sweeney brings it into the zone. Captain Kirk is there, overplayed by Wah, but the shot is not released, and here comes Dagnall. Dagnall feeds it to Safar, taken down, and Oates is there, and that might be a – oh, it's icing. thought we might have had a delayed penalty. Face off in the Montreal zone. Quick one-timer, no go. LeBeau is there. And wow. a quick one-timer to Joe Juno. EA, like I say, man, he is he's on point today. He's going to be a tough one to beat. Boston's up 1-0. Schneider to Savard. Looking for those alleys. They're just not there frequently. Captain Kirk tries to feed it back. Here's Oates, intercepts the pass. Taken by Savard the other way. Resets. Looking for anything over the middle. It's just not there. Taken down by Sweeney. Sweeney coming down the ice. I'm sorry, is that Glenn Wesley or Sweeney? I, I, might, be, I might have been getting that wrong. Oh, it is Don Sweeney. 
Yeah, I don't I don't think he yeah, cracks the lineup. Sweeney and Bork are just not gonna. What, that's the Super Nintendo version he ends up in there. Okay, so uh, back to Genesis Len. Captain Kirk wanted that one timer and Moog was there. Schneider with a nice check there against the boards and the ball on the edge. Dagnall tries to bring it in, gets broken up, and we get a delayed penalty. Montreal touches up, they cheated. And there goes Steven the Bowl. So even strength four on four. See now there's that's Glenn Wesley. Yes. So Wah scoops up the puck up to Savard. Check is missed. Bork trying to CB. He does. And now he's coming down the ice. He could let this fly. He does. Picked up by Dagnall. One timer. There it is. Captain Kirk puts it right in the center of the chest of Andy Moog. Adam Oates. Trying to do the cross crease. Gets smoked. Captain Kirk smashes him into the boards. And we got a penalty. Kirk Miller into the sin bin. Three on five. Time for the Jeremy Roenick three-way challenge opportunity. It's going to be a tall order against one of the better. Whoa, oh! Right makes me look silly. Three-way challenge. We didn't have enough people to draw at the end of the tournament for that. All right, period's over 1-1 one, one into the first. It's hard to be opportunistic against Patrick Waugh. Very much so. Doesn't leave a lot out there. Savard cannot handle it, hits the back of his legs. Schneider taken down by Neely. Oates gets taken down. Here comes the ball. Juno unable to handle it. Here comes the ball. The ball with a floater. That was dirty. Schneider, Matt Schneider with the assist. It's 2 1 Montreal. Derek with the lead now with the best goalie in the game to protect the net. If you're hearing any yelling, that's from uh, Chris Shavenbush, known as Sammy Smith, 33 in the Techno community, runs the premier Techno tournament in this market. Having fun with us today. Oh, it's with a breakaway. And a putback by Joe Juno, opportunistic as we call Cla it. Classic rebound. He is a rebounding machine. No one does it quite like EA. 2-2 two -two game, 228 remaining in the second period. Oh. All right, here comes Savard. This is the puck floating around, picked up by Neely. Opportunistic. Oh, Wasp floating around there on the ice. Cannot finish the deal, and LeBeau is out for the period that'll lose him. We'll lose him for a minute 17 in the second. And Don Pus is going to fill in the role there. King Raff is asking where the series is at. This is game two. Game two of, game th uh, of a three game series. EA is up 1 0 on Derek from the series. Uh, you know, the funny thing is that King Rap is about 15 feet away from me, and he could have just asked me. <laughs> yeah, but then. then it was like texting at the dinner table. Then, well, but, but see, then the rest of the world gets, uh, right. gets the benefit. How dare people have a good time while they're here? Andy Moog takes it. Glenn Wesley. Oates tries to feed it back. Dompus scoops it up to Muller. 
And into the second period, 2-2 your score as we go to the third. The intensity is there. You know, EA's played a lot of, uh, you know, backseat to the bigger names like Raph and AJ, but he's always finding a way to claw and be in the conversation. And you wonder, in the way he's playing it, and, you know, does he, obviously he's got to, to get past Derek first, but, is, you know, is, is this going to be a year where he can finally, you know, step out and get into that championship game? I think, I think EA has all the tools in the tool bag. He, he, Huge save. That was game saving there by Derek. He can score in ways most people just, just don't and he makes it routine. So so yeah, I mean if he plays if he if he sees the matrix like he's been today, uh, you know, sure. Nice backhanded pass to a one timer attempt. And uh, Moog turns away two really nice saves there uh, by Andy Moog. That was a pretty pass. Chaos in chat. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Really glad you're with us. He's saying keep LeBeau out, but I want to say LeBeau's got at least one, if not two, of his goals. Oh, that was an that was incredible. Manual goal by Derek there with Wah. Tries to go with the floater, no go. Bork out to Oates to Juno. Joe Juno, there's the one, excuse me, the EA special attempt, and Wah gobbles it up. LeBeau, oh, oh, the floater backhand, man. and Montreal takes the lead 3-2, 140 remaining. That was really well done. Schneider to Dagnall to LeBeau. You know, if you can condition someone to crease cut, crease cut, crease cut, and then set that up. I'm not saying it's happened this game, but so many of us have seen the crease cut so many times that that... You spin and float. Seabass trying to do something here with 43 seconds left. Wild gobbles it up. And the ball is on the wing to Muller to Savard. Takes the zone. He's going to skate it out. And that'll do it. So game two goes to Derek. We'll have a deciding game three up for you soon. So thanks for hanging on the mic with me. Hey man, my pleasure. We're gonna hey. try to get Angry Jay up here yeah, before he's gonna play here. another game, yeah. Thanks, All right, brother. Guys, give us two minutes. Oh. Do, do, do the we'll be right back screen. Guys, give me, give me five minutes, sir. Four or five minutes, I gotta use the restroom, okay? Neither. You're, you're going to play the winner of these. I don't have the results. Angry J1? Yeah, 2-0. Oh, shit. This is being funny.
is the game between Air Jets and Van Nuys. Switch it over here. What should I do in the meantime, Brad? What do you want? What? We'll go back to the hotel. Be back uh, in an hour. Be back by. Are you okay walking back? Yeah, I'm fine. I know I'm fine. Okay. Text me when you're there, okay? Um. Four, four. So we can start changing out. Hey, can we leave? If we have a couple free hands, if we can start changing over these systems, yeah, yeah. I only need like four, I think three or four stations up, and the rest can be swatched up top over. So. So, um, in uh, what would be perceived an upset, Mort has defeated uh, Chris O in three games. Come on up. Come on. Yeah, you play the winner of this. It's game deciding game three. I was gonna get AJ up, but now he's got to get his game with Morden. We're behind. Nice, back on the cans. Oh, we're gonna have uh, King Rat back with us as we call this game three. Tier five. Oh, all right, not tier six. All right. I'm back. Thank you, Hank. So a bit of a surprise. I mean, you know, Mort took out Chris O, uh, who I had going pretty deep uh, in the other matchup. So now AJ is playing Mort, right, in the semis? Yeah. That? You know what? I'm not going to count Mort out of anything ever again. Yeah. Mort magic is a real thing. <laughs> he was, again, I played him in the, in the round robin. I told him, dude, you're playing really, really well. Like, I, I'm expecting to see you deep. And he's clearly uh, uh, kept up his end of the bargain. All right, this is exciting. Game three, Derek and EA, two really, really, really good players, strong players. Chris O, that was a good prize. EA in St. Louis. Good, good figure. EA is going to be St. Louis. St. Louis, New Jersey. So Derek's going to be New Jersey, oh EA, St. Louis. It's funny, they keep taking teams the other person just used. Uh, Interesting. St. Louis was just under the control of Derek. Did Mort win on last second, JJ? I didn't watch the Mort matchup, but according to Chris O, um, he just, you know, Chris won the first game 5-0, and then Mort won the next two. Yeah, he, he, got, he got mercy rolled in his game against... Uh, Leaf. Yeah. We, we were doing that, and I told yeah, him the same I mean, thing. He just comes back, wins the next two. So Mort clearly the king of adaptation and, and, you know, changing everything. Yeah, I mean, he's been playing this game basically a year-ish. Yeah, That's right? insane to me. About, yeah. I mean, those guys are all good. All the, all the Chicago guys, they're not just 94, but they're just all-around great retro gaming players on, on all different types of uh, uh, games. 
San Jose Tampa matchup. AJ make it happen. Uh, Bradley and DeMaio all day. So we'll see here. New Jersey, let's get to the matchup. I got to play the winner of these two, so I'm going to see what's going on here. They're both really, really strong competitors. So. Let's see if Riche blows them past Cujo. One timer city. I don't know. Did I miss? I must have missed EA's lineups if he did it already. Derek's not. What's he going to do here? He's got C Mac. He might put Zelapukin in. And you have to put Fatisov, I would think. You put me Kasatanov, maybe? I like Kasatanov. Fatisov, Kasatanov, just big fat bodies you're going to leave back there. Stevens definitely stays in. All right. Derek's going through the. He's got Riche on left wing. C-Mac at center. Is he going to put Zella Buchan on the right wing? Or is he going to keep Lemieux? You know, it's it's funny. When you go into uh, line change mode, this team becomes way better. They get so many. New simil- Jersey? Yeah. Yeah. So many players that basically fill that same role. Well, it's interesting. I think with I think what Derek's thinking about doing if he keeps C-Mac at center is probably to counter Brett Hull. Meaning, like, C-Mac's a little lighter weight than Hull, and he could probably just C-check him down. Because um, Riche is the big shot there, right? He's got yeah. a five out of six shot power, only three out of six accuracy. But if he gets a one-timer going, um, he's very, very dangerous. And if it's accurate, you don't need too much on either one of these no, goalies. No, So, uh, interesting move putting C-Mac at center. I think it's to counterbalance. Uh, if, let's see if uh, EA puts Hull at center. I'm almost certain he will. He'll probably go with uh, Basson and and Emerson on wings. Bob Basson, I use him in the uh, SNES version. I don't know, he's looking, he's looking at it. Yeah, that, well, in the SNES, you may be, you know. He's uh, got a high check rating. Yeah, Shanahan, Janney, those guys will crush some, some people in the SNES, but I think EA kind of likes the, the Emerson, Emerson Basson, I don't know. All right, they're, Clearly, a lot on the line. Game three, they're spending a lot of time looking at their line changes. This isn't like an exhibition game where this would take about, you know, 30 seconds tops. All right. Are you excited for Sines? After this is I done? Am. Well, it's hard. I can't even look that far because uh, I'm getting anxious knowing i got to play one of these guys. Yeah, Everyone's stepping their game up. The, the, the gap narrows every year. Yeah. So uh, I'm focused on, the, you know, the next couple games. We want to stay loose. I tried to use teams I didn't really like in the beginning, so I wouldn't be forced into using them later. Man, they, they're really hemming and hawing over this. this they're going to get us kicked out before the SNES is done. This is it. <laughs> Game three. You know what? I mean, it is it is for tournament. There, there are things on the line, pride, rankings, cash. Yep, yep. So it looks like they're going back and forth looking at each other's weights. So what, what, what they're really doing is you want to know who to C-check who to CB check, right? In Genesis, C check if you're a lightweight guy, you're just going to C check everyone down. If you're a heavy guy, you want to do the CB, meaning you initiate a check, and then select B, which allows the computer to knock the guy down because there's no weight bug when the computer is using the player. So it's it's uh, it's important to know who's on the ice, what players there are, because if you if, you know a successfully executed check will change the momentum of a game, and if you and on the same token, you miss that check, you're in deep trouble. So it's Checking is a big part of this game. Brian, you're right. Yep. Uh, Hull is the Here only only forward in the game who's got a six shot power. Uh, he's deadly if he lets that rip. He's got three accuracy. He doesn't hit the net too often. All right. Well, here we go. Underway. So C-Mac is at center as you. Mm-hmm. Here comes Craig Janney. 23, is that Driver? I guess he changed the, to Bruce, Bruce driver. driver. I think 23 is Driver. Tries with the pass Uh-oh. shot. Oh, it's loose. Here comes Emerson. Tries the float, or Cujo's there. Terreri. I'm sorry, wrong way, Two, wrong 31. <laughs> <laughs> you keep keeping me honest here. At least he was on the ice, right? All right, C-Mac up to, is that Lemieux? That's Lemieux. Okay. Big Scott Stevens. Let the one timer go. One timer to C-Mac. Wow. Riche and Stevens with the apple. That was pretty. Yeah, very well executed by Derek there. Didn't waste any time. Quickly saw the center. Fast pass, fast release. No chance for Cujo. So, Hall needs to get to his forehand shot on the other side to have a chance for that slapper. Yeah, Derek knows that too. 
That backhand shot's not going to do much. Even well with played. Hull. Well played there. You know, like when you got Hull and you're dancing around, there's only one place to go. Like you said, you got to get on this forehand side. Derek knew that, snipped it out, and, and had a great defensive stop there. Butcher chasing after Lemieux. They both seem really slow. There's a one-timer oh. chance. He goes for the slapper and said it's denied. Kujo can't retrieve it. Here comes Butcher. Butcher to Brown. Browner takes the zone. One-timer. Cannot get the, There yeah. it is. One-timer action to Brett Hall. And that was pretty up the ice. It's 1-1. Nice play by EA there. Got it. it was hooked a little bit, but couldn't contain him long enough. Hall released that cannon. Emerson hanging out. One-timer. Feeding. Oh, yeah. that was there all day. Two goals for Hall, and it's 132 remaining. Yeah, I, you're gonna have to contend with that. I would, I would think. Uh, you know what? What I like, if I was EA, what I like that St. Louis is doing right now, Hall is parking himself right in the slot, like right there. Oh, and there's the putback. Hall he, with his hat trick already. He's yeah. He's positioning himself every single time in, in the place where you want him to be. So. I would be pretty happy with if I was EA with the way St. Louis is playing. 3-1 here with 120 remaining. Here comes Lemieux. Um, you know, what do you do uh, to counter that as the Devils? You're going to have to – you can't let Emerson – you, you got to block the attempt first, you know. Um, you're either going to knock – oh, my God. You're going to either knock Hull down before he gets the one-timer, but the easier – I mean, what you got to just take uh, the big defenseman you have and just knock these guys down before that pass gets off. Not an easy thing to do, but um, – that's the only thing you can do. But right now, Derek's got to get some offense here. Flub the one-timer. Stevens chasing Hull into the boards. Emerson loose. Terreri oh. unable to field it. Here comes Rishi. Loses it. Tell me, who's 26? 26 is, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to guess, who's 26? It's not Where's Sina? Angry Jay? He knows all those numbers. <laughs> That's the thing, the Devils can insert so many different players. All right, Riche with a shot, and he gets a put back against Cujo. Oh, we got a game. It's 3-2. That was shorthanded. Twenty-six is Peter Stasny. Thank you, NHL94.com. We thought we are going to get that shorthand. It didn't go. This is dangerous right here. He's going to look for Hull again. Mishandled. Had it fired. Great, great interception by Butcher's Brown. Butcher's got it. Uh, Butcher. we, is Butcher 21? I, I think. think Brown is 21. Butcher's 5. Oh, I've been missing it up all day. Where have you been my entire <laughs> uh, day here? Oh, yeah, winning games. Thanks, Chaos. Yep, 26 stats. Riche with a lot of blues away in his way, and here he comes back up. Stastny, Stastny to C-Mac. Trying to go for a one-timer, possibly. Nope, around the back of the net in Gretzky's playground. Hull. Oh, a got floater, him. 4 2 Hull, all four goals for St. Louis. That one just a nice deke. Well, 2.21 remaining here in the second two-goal lead here by EA. This is a deciding game three. Nice save. In the quarterfinals, heading to the semifinals next. You can play the winner of this game. He's going to try to get that shot off. Good job. Driver may have a breakaway. Cujo with a nice check after retrieving. And here comes Hall a breakaway again. This is, uh, I think if I'm Derek, I may want to switch the lineup. Get in Zelapukin, C-Mac, and put Rishi at center. Oh. That might force the issue anyway. Well, <laughs> well, he's only off for a minute. Four two here is another penalty. So Nelson ever send the weight bugger off the ice. That could play a factor. Yeah, this is an opportunity for Derek. He's got. It'd be great if he gets one here before the end of the second and cut it to a one goal deficit. Uh, EA playing very well. And uh, another penalty coming up. Oh, oh that must my have been goodness. Hull. That might, might we're, we're still in the second period, but three goals, I mean, he's scoring at will. Yeah. I mean, Hull is just perfectly in, in position every time, and, and EA's getting the one-timers executed very nicely. And as we mentioned earlier, he's the only one with the six-shot power. So it's pretty much if it's getting on net, it's going in. So deadly. Lemieux doesn't take the zone to C-Mac. Now Zelopukin. Zelopukin back to C-Mac, and he resets. Ten seconds. you got to get in there. No. Once yeah, you wanted that pass shot, it just yeah. wasn't there. $7,000 on EA to win it all. 
That sounds like uh, Halifax. That's Halifax. Seven grand. And you know you can pay those numbers. <laughs> Seven grand Canadians. Uh, it's about 34 bucks, isn't it? $34 USD. Yeah. We'll see how it is after the coronavirus takes over. Oh, that was a great attempt at EA Special. All right, here's Riche looking to center. So he's got the cannon. I, I, I would want to just try to emulate what St. Louis is doing, get the big shot in the middle so you could get that off. Uh, Emerson out of the box. No one's at center for him. Totally different. New Jersey's struggling here. It's going to be really difficult for Derek to come back. Just the team's not playing well. And on the flip side, St. Louis is clearly everything's loose working puck. for them. Terreri finally got a hold of that loose puck. It looked like an, uh, maybe a game-deciding sixth goal. And Hall is in. Just you know, E keeps putting his defenders in the right position. Yep. Intercept those pucks. Butcher to Janney. Yeah, looking for Hall again. Got to go, go straight at the net. Yeah, Derek's right. running out of time to like get anything fancy here. He's got to just. He's got to almost overcommit now, and you know, kind of deal with deal with the the consequences of giving it up because not much left to lose at this point. Can't even get the rebound in, in three feet in front of his of his uh, net. All right, here comes Riche on the wing. Put it on that. Put it on that. Butcher's there. Garth Butcher. Scott Stevens with the interception, but Hall takes it right back. Oh, they're just... All right, here comes Driver. He's slow. Understand why he did that. You're, you have to have so many shots in yep. so many seconds. Yeah, desperation time for Derek. Ooh, that's hold misfired finally. Uh, that would have been another wide open one for him. Oh, oh. and there's the put back. So Nelson Emerson gets on the board. First that's goal the, not by the uh, That hold. is a nail in the coffin. And uh, looks like EA is going to move on two games to one here. Well, looking forward to calling that game, that series. I will be uh, leaving now. I mean, this EA is playing really well. It's not going to be an easy matchup by any means. I've played him lots of times at these tournaments, so uh, good wow. sportsmanship there. Those are two awesome dudes, by the way, as well. Personally, know them. Good humans. Yeah, great. Well, thanks again, Troy. Hey, Raph, always a pleasure. Good luck in your rest of your way. Thank you. All right. So we're going to get EA and Raph on stream. Derek, you can take a prize. Take, take a figure. We'll be right back as the next series gets set up with EA and King Raph. You're up there, boss.
Mortal Kombat has only last two. Wow. So tier two, okay. What is I'm away, right? So what is uh what's the disadvantage for some of these guys? I'm away. Uh, I have that sheet somewhere with it. And I know we're behind, so I should probably increase my thing. I still want to pick some of those like only gone. Basically, the firm has to be done by eight because we have to tear it down and be out of here by nine. Okay, so the three or four game. Quit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's it just taking way too long. People aren't, aren't really long past now. Some of the games went to three series, but. I didn't have I, much I took, I took about 35 minutes in between the group play and the bracket to get it started, which I didn't think was awful. Yeah. But I, I, I planned for 45 minutes because I knew that I have to manually enter everything. Hey, Mort! Mort! How'd you play against you? First game was really close, it was 3 to 1. Second game, I got hot and first beat him. Well, Mort had really a Cinderella run here. Um, you know, he, he, it ended running up against you. But what he was able to do, he, he was six, he used Mercy Rolled against Leaf. Erickson came back and won that. Loses a 5 nothing game to Chris O. Comes back and wins the next two games. Yeah, I watched a part of the series that Mort had with Chris O. And Mort, it looked like he had just adapted what, to what Chris O was doing. Chris O looked visibly frustrated at the uh, lack of ability to finish his chances. So, yeah, great job by Mort. He showed a lot of development from where he was last year at this tournament. And he still has a chance at third place. Oh, absolutely. in 94 chipping in mentioning that EA looks like a cool Bond villain <laughs> hey Mort Mort <laughs> good Mort. to see you Halifax in the, in the chat done, joining us know. today from Saskatoon you'll be for third place you'll be playing for third place so, for here we go we got the face off we got alright uh, so back to Montreal Boston uh, Raph would be Boston he's the higher seed he's got the home ice and then uh, EA with Montreal I was going to say, yeah, because he was, I think he recently played as Boston, but uh, Dennis Savard with the uh, opening goal, only four, uh, 21 remaining right here in the first, so really quick strike. Oh, do I have it backwards as EA? Is this game two? This is game one. Okay. I believe Raph would be Boston it's, in that game. It's R-A-P-H. So Raph nice goal there, tied 1-1. Okay, I was wondering what that King Rat. <laughs> now I know what people are talking about in chat. I didn't realize that the. Uh, that's too funny. You know, Noah, who's doing an amazing job for us today, um, does not know the the individuals here and what their handles are. So uh, he's going by what he's hearing, and uh, we bless him with all the work that he's been doing. This looks fantastic today. So Joe Juno handling the puck, Bork to Neely's huge stone stop by Pratik Wah. Desjardins to Dom, who is taken down. Here comes Sweeney. Sweeney trickles it into Juno. It is, there's a mess in front of the net. Here comes Desjardins. Desjardins finds a way to get it to Savard. Quick shot on net. Moog is there. And we have a whistle. Yeah, looks like we have some back and forth hockey here. So starting off well for EA. He doesn't want to fall behind early and kind of get behind the eight ball. So he's doing a nice job here so far. Gwen Wesley is in the game. 
Must be a sub for uh, Sweeney, who just took the penalty. Desjardins unable to handle it. Here comes Oates in. Wah meets out. Meet him, says hello. Puck is fed back to Wah. Some conversations happening behind the net between opposing players. Dapus with a quick shot and nothing doing there. Cam Neely to Oates. EA special attempt, no go. Here comes Captain Kirk. So Cam Neely back to Oates. 39 seconds remaining. Quick one-timer, Adam Oates. Excuse me. Uh, Cam Neely from Adam Oates, and it's a 2-1 game. Yeah, snappy one-timer there by Raph to, to Is that be a, Did everything just get really loud all of a sudden? Yeah, it just turned up. The whole, bit, oh, the whole levels went way up in the game. The levels went up in the game. Boston Garden is jamming as Montreal hits the post. Uh, welcome to the... Uh, We'll turn our, our levels down, but that might be bleeding the ears of our viewers. We'll see. Is that better for you? Yes, it is. Okay. Montreal saved by the bell there at the end of the period. Luke, I am your father. That's not what he says, though. Bob Lobla, he says, no, I am your father. That's one of the most misquoted lines in cinema history, but we do appreciate you watching the stream. Like we're maybe King, 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 I think King Wrath might. We should we should push that on him. I I, I think it's appropriate because you can't you can't escape the wrath. You can't self gloss. Someone has to give you the name. And it's been granted. Yes. It's been bestowed upon the king. Yeah, that's that's a Jim Rome philosophy. Yes. Henceforth, you shall be known as King Wrath. Tell me, uh, who is 21 on Boston? That's Donato. Oh, no kidding. Ted Donato, is it? Yes, sir. So it must be, that must be one of the substitutions that Raph made it in the intermission. Was okay. Put now, is is he a weight bugger? He is definitely a weight bugger. Not very skilled, but he can move a little bit, and he can definitely throw his weight around. All right, so Andy Moog feeds it out to Juno. Oh, pass shot. Almost there. He piped it. Bar out, Ski. So... Dapus tries to keep it in play, resets, does Savard. EA Special does not get in position for the rebound. Juno has a breakaway. Oh, and he took himself right out of position, did King Raph. EA is absolutely on fire today. Oh, are the game teams switched? I believe so. Just looking at the play styles with Montreal doing EA Specials and Boston doing pass shots, I think we need to flip it around. Okay. Yeah, player player two is actually um, the teams are, are mixed match here. Sorry about that. Yeah, EA is actually uh, the Montreal. So my apologies. We had the uh, teams on stream uh, improperly labeled here. So King Raph is actually the Boston Bruins. Noah's on top of it, taking care of us. Yeah, he's our man. And we got a one-timer, Joe Juno from Adam Oates and Ray Bork. It's 4-1. Looks like Neely was the one that was stubbed out with Juno now taking over the center responsibilities, cashing in on that beautiful one-time opportunity. Andy Moog retrieves the puck out of the corner, had to leave net to do it. It's a Nato. Trying to get that one-timer, no go. And we're going to have a cheat. Is that Breeze Boy? Or how do yeah, Breeze Bois. Breeze Bois. Breeze Bois. I learned about him earlier in the in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, he's I just also, never see people put him in. He's a weight bugger. Um, one of the few options Montreal has in that category. On Is Dagnall right. another one of those? Yes, but not quite as uh, exaggerated as a weight bugger as Freeze Ball. So uh, Desjardins flattened. becomes LeBeau right into Sweeney's backside, but back to Desjardins. Desjardins takes the zone. Tries to find a backhand pass. No one's there, and Wah will have to go behind his net to get the puck. Tries to check someone misses, and here comes Donato, but it's three on one, now three on two, three on three. Sweeney puts it on net, not really, over his head, and into the stands for a souvenir for a lucky fan, yes. and possibly a concussion. <laughs> we'll have the medical team out there immediately. Oh, Donato with the short side, and Juno with the apple. It's 5-1. It's getting out of control here. Yeah, and Boston really starting to establish their authority here, just getting chance after chance, catching on the power play now. This is a tough position for Montreal. They're not built to come back from leads like this. Joe Juno tries to intercept the puck. Vincent Dampus is there. Here comes 
Bork, breakaway and a delayed penalty. One pass shot attempt, no go. And back to Juno on the rebound. He's got the hat trick. Hats are on the ice. Two seconds remaining. That's really a killer at the end of the period. Yeah, you don't want to give up those late goals, especially when you're trying to make a comeback. Now EA, early in the third period, could be at the, at the mercy of the mercy rule here. Um, down by five now. Looks like he's going to make some line changes, putting Muller in at center and going back to it to review. I mean, there's not a lot of great options to bring on for the offense for Montreal. They don't have a lot of speed. They don't have a lot of great shooters. I mean, the best shooter they have on the bench is Bellows, but he's just almost a carbon copy of Muller, and that's not a good good look against right. Boston, who's a very defensive-minded team. So he's just going to have to EA special his way back into this, get some lucky bounces maybe, and maybe he can make a game out of this in the last minute or two. Go well, back to it. Five minutes ice hockey time. Third period here. Juno to Oates off, but here comes Captain Kirk. EA Special Sweeney is loose. And there is your game. Donato with the game winner. Six game mercy rule advantage. Game one goes to King Raff. Yeah, a tough break there for EA. He had the nice start. I think he had the opening goal. He just King Raff too strong in that game. Maybe a little bit more offensive firepower is where EA will look in uh, game number two. Because he just, he just didn't have the offense to really push back against Raff in that one. So we got Schmidt, 34, in the chat. King of 94 in the chat, both congratulating Mort on an incredible run today in the Genesis side. So good to see everybody here giving Mort some credit because he really came to play today. Uh, I remember a certain uh, individual that's currently in chat um, saying that Leaf was going to roll through him like nobody's business. We'll have to go back through the chat. But Mort proving everyone wrong that he's here to stay. Um, we just got to find a way to get on the mountain where you and uh, King Raft tend to dwell. Yeah, they're, they're coming up, though. They're, him and DPS, DPS in the first round did give EA a challenge. EA needed a big third period comeback in game two to, to take the series in that one. So the, the two of them, they're starting to put it together. They're, I mean, you saw Mork on this run today. He upset Chris O. Chris O is a legitimate player. He's very strong. This is, his, I believe, his first live tournament, but he's... He's an incredible uh, player. I, well, he's ranked uh, pretty high in the 94, so he's been so he's been in, in some tournaments, I think. Okay, so this might be his first major tournament then. Or? No, he he is ranked, so he's ranked very high. Okay. So his seating was high to start out in the groupings. Okay. Um, so I, I don't know if it was a king or Van. Did he go to Vancouver? Maybe he went to New York. Could be. So I stand corrected. Okay, so part of that scene, yeah. I mean, there's legit. So EA is going to be Calgary at home against the Kings. What if we can see some da -da 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 sandstorm. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, given Raph, Sandstorm, and Gretzky, uh, that's a lot to give him, but EA does like Calgary. He really believes that Robert Reichel is one of the best players in the game at using the EA special. So hopefully, you know, EA can maybe work some angles there and get a few goals. And both of these goalies are very weak, so if one of them is extremely cold, say Rudy or, or Vernon, you know, any, Money heard in Mount Vernon. Yeah, any shot could go in. They're all viable shots, so just throw rubber at the net and maybe you'll get lucky. All right, deciding game two, if King Raff takes this, uh, EA's day will be, well, he'll, the loser of this game battles for third place. And then we got to do this all over again for some Super Nintendo. So I would expect Raff to put in Robitaille at the wing. Not too sure how keen he is on Granado. I guess he's... Likes Granado better than I thought, so he's gonna put Granado in on his off wing. He might look for some EA specials of his own. With Granado being a right-handed shot on the left wing, Blake Zitnik is your typical LA defensive pairing. One weight bugger, one CB checker. And there's Reichel, as mentioned previously, for EA manning the center spot. You'll definitely see Flurry, and then probably Makarov. Robert's coming in. Okay. EA putting all the best Gary's out. Gary's good at finding the back of the net. You know, he's, he's just a solid center. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is a game where I think he can take advantage of a weak goalie. So if you can find him in the slot, he's going to cash in a lot of the time there. He's actually a pretty solid CB checker, so he could take out Gretzky if he lines him up in his sights. Let's see if you have any flurry Gretzky collisions. All right, here we go. Calgary, Los Angeles. Game two, semifinals. To play the winner of this angry J93 next to me, Theo Fleury. Puts a quick one on net, and we have Gary Roberts out to the period of race, so Fleury will probably end up at center. I wonder if Makarov will make the lineup. Yeah, my expectation would be Makarov. Neuendijk isn't really a good wing option. He's a terrible passer, and he's not very light. So, probably see Reichel move into the middle, or Flurry, as you mentioned. So, we're going to go Reichel here for now. This is subject to change because it's pretty interchangeable between Flurry and Reichel. Adam Woodrow loves Makarov. Yeah, he starts I, with him. I love Makarov as well on the left wing. He's just an incredible passer, and he's actually a very nimble skater. He's, he's much in the oak of uh, Doug Howard Chuck. And I do like me my Chucks. Well, you got him for a whole 15 ice seconds there. This is Trojan 1979 with Angry J93. This is semifinals of with Animal Problems. Tournament here by Edge of 94. We're at the Poor House, Uptown, Minneapolis. And Reichel to take him down there. And Zitnik touches up, and we'll see who's going in the box. And it looks like it's Rob Blake. Yep, so five on four now. As The previous injury was actually incurred by Rudy. He instigated it, so no penalty was, was incurred by L.A. Zitnik carries it up the ice. Granado taken down. Here's Makarov. Every time I say Makarov, I think of Call of Duty. Oh, the, the pistol? Yes. Oh, Flurry, Do him dirty. Oh, he gets stopped by Rudy. Laying the pads down. Double pad stack. Taking up all of the goal. Could be a hot Rudy in net for Raph. Well, you can see Martin McStorley. Uh, is there going to be a stick up? Never really seen him in the game. Oh, backhand by, was that, was that his backhand? That was a uh, quick spin move to the forehand for. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I love it. Sandstorm it is. Making a one nothing game here for King Raff. So Reichel just wants an open path so he can do the EA special. Raff doing a nice job covering up that slot though. And, ooh. Gary Suter is there. Got an active Suter, folks. Timely interception. That was an easy goal if that pass gets through. Sansa with the back, the fourth, and to Blake, and Blake puts it home. And Blake crashing the net from the blue line. You don't see that too often, so a bit of a fortunate break there for Raft. Thanks, Schmidt. Oh, standing tall. A money earned in Mount Vernon, but the puck is sailed all the way to Rudy. And just whiffing on the checks is EA. Good skater control by Raff. There's a misfire there. Gretzky with some sort of back pass. Didn't find its way there. Forehand shot attempt by Sandstrom. No go. And there's a penalty touched up by Calgary. It looks like Gary Suter is going in the box. It appeared Suter got all puck there, but the ref didn't agree. And off goes Suter. Nearly the one-timer off the faceoff there for Raph. One-timer for six. Oh, man. Sandstorm getting his second goal. Jeanette Blake getting in the action now with a couple apples for them. And 3 nothing here with only 30 seconds remaining in the first period. Makarov loses it back to him. Wasn't ready for it. Here comes Jitnik the other way. Gretzky. Quick one-timer to Sandstrom. There's the hat trick, and there's a 4 nothing game here. Only nine seconds remaining. Giving up two goals in about 21 seconds. Wrath in sync with Sandstrom. Tries to blast at home for the third. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before the game where these goalies, they can just, you know, give up goals in droves, and Sandstrom's just finding the mark left and right right now. He's, he definitely looks like he's on fire. Yeah, I agree, Schmidt. EA's got to do a better job of taking away that middle. There's just too many open lanes for a guy like Raph and a skilled team like L.A. Uh, 
And that just all adds salt to the wound. Al McKinnis now into the box. Back on the penalty kill goes Calgary. I just got word my son is uh, not feeling so good, so he's not going to join us for Super Nintendo. He's going to lay down in the hotel room. Hope he gets better. Yeah, I, I do too. Hope he's hope he stay away from the continental breakfast eggs. <laughs> I've had a nightmare or two with those before. We just had an overpriced donut. That was about it. Um, so here comes Florida. The EA special attempt there. Gary Roberts knocked over. Zitnik picks up the loose puck. Cross ice to. Granado one time, 5 0 here. Fourth goal from Sandstrom. Two apples, Granado, Gretzky each. And we're one game away from Mercy and elimination from championship contention for EA. Still in contention for the money no matter what. And that's your sixth goal. So Raph advances, Mercy rule in effect. And we'll see a game between you and King Raph shortly here, so good luck to you. I'm going to need it with the way he's looking right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, did you ever think about buying him some eggs? He's actually tried. Yeah, you know what? I think you're on to something. I might actually try and buy him some drinks and some <laughs> eggs and just multiply Do some the shots. Yeah. Every, every goal is a shot. Good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we'll have your championship match coming up soon. You're going to play Mort for third place. We're behind it. You guys get one game. One, one game One game for third place. Okay. Take a minute, then we're going right in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's money. You guys are paying for third. Fourth place gets a pick up out of the toy bin. <laughs> Sorry, man. Just how the bracket worked, yeah? No, no. It's, uh, what's the other thing? Yeah. Just involved in or heading, you know? Dude, you played really well today. I was, I was proud of you. Yeah. Appreciate it. You need to start playing your games with a scarf on. You start playing your games with a scarf on. Thank you. All right, everyone. Uh, we're now heading into the championship series. Uh, in about three, four minutes here, Angry Jay will take on King Wrath, a rematch of, rematch of last year's finals from Green Bay in 2019. So these guys have battled a long way to get where they're going. Appreciate the audience turning on. After that concludes, we'll start the Super Nintendo tournament. We'll make sure we'll figure out who's on here and we'll talk about how we're going to handle that. So, thank you so much.
Shannon, by the way. Chicago Buffalo matchup coming for you here. Could really use a color commentator, but I don't have one because these are the guys that like to normally do that. Switch the scene. All right, we switched the scene. Perfect. Okay. Championship series now. In effect, King Raph, number one seed, 
will be the Buffalo Sabres at home against AJ's Road Chicago Blackhawks. Tier 1 to match up here. Game 1. Just one second. All right, here we go. McGillney checked by Chelios. Chelios tries to feed it to Ronick, drops, and Moggs is loose. And nice stop by Belfort. Ronick checks. McGillney and Belfort is there. Attempted one timer. Looks like we've got an injury on the ice. That was so fast. It even so it looks like Russell. Dale Howard check off of the ice. Four on five. Steve Smith with the puck. Taken over by Svoboda. Svoboda is loose and there had to be a little bit of a hold there or slash. Don't go hold a hooking. Okay, so Chris Chelios going to the box. So we got a four and four situation. All right, here comes Ronick. He's loose. Tries to drive it home. Nice save and Moggs the other way. Gets the floater. And McGillney takes Buffalo to a 1 0 lead. King Raff over Angry Jay here. A 322 remaining in the first game one. Pat LaFontaine. Taken down. Pat LaFontaine trying to find how, or excuse me, McGilney. Goes straight in and he gets a second goal. It's 2 0 King Raff. Larmer with the loose puck. Quick shot. Belfort recovers. There were, looked like the one-time opportunity was there, and Ronick got floored. Steve Smith trying to cut the lane off. And here he goes. Chelios. One-timer attempt. Missed. Chelios misses the net. Chelius is checked with the boards. LaFontaine attacks the net, passes it to Howard Chuck, and looks like we have a penalty on Chicago. Cross check from Steve Smith. Two minutes, 29 seconds remaining in the first period. Howard Chuck with a little stutter step. That makes it a 3 0 game. Christian Rutu for the box. Angry J down 3 0 here in the first period, and now is down with their better skaters. Grant Fuhrer lets it go. And we're going to end up the second period in time to reestablish the lineups. So not much doing there in the first period for Angry G offensively. Gave away some breakaways. Nice manual goal there. LaFontaine trying to go with the pass shot. It was denied. Ronick is not going to do his own bench. We have a moment before he's back. Howard Chuck trying to go cross. He already has a goal. One timer attempt. No, it is denied. Held up. McGillney on his back. Here comes Ronick. Tries to go away from the one-timer. Didn't work out. Did Angry Jay. Christian Rutu back on the ice. Fuhr came right out of the net. Took down Larmer. Howard Chuck. Nowhere to go. Tries to go with the give and go, but Howard Chuck cannot let the puck go. 
Bodger with the pass to LaFontaine with the one-timer no-go. Grutu on the wing. Roenick trying to get a hold of it, just cannot get stick on puck. One-timer attempt to Howard Chuck is missed. 134 remaining here in the second period. 3-0 game. Rutu on the edge. Tries to go for a quick shot. Tier's been in position every time. Intercepted pass from Larma by LaFontaine and the one-timer, and that is McGillney with the second goal. It's a 4-0 game. I feel important to mention that the Chicago match ball. Oh, there's a goal. All right, Larmer assisted by Russell and Roenick, so it gets on the board here just before the end of the second period. We know both of these teams can score in a flash. But for some reason, Buffalo and Raff just go together and it's meant to be. Pass shot attempted there, goes wide of the net, and that's the end of your second period, 4-1. Hang on a second, this is again. So again, I apologize, the uh, the logos are again backwards. Uh, Angry J is not Buffalo. All right, back to it. One timer, nice job, but Roenick with the follow up in, it's a 2 4 game. Angry Jay climbing back up out of the gutter. Yes, Retro Sports Gamer, we are in the finals for Genesis. Glad you're watching. Of course, Retro Sports Gamer, the namesake of this channel. Very glad that he provided his audience an opportunity for this stream. Oh, two players from Buffalo checking to their own bench. Yes, Raf is winning. 4-2. God bless Noah. Noah is our production guy. Uh, doesn't know these guys. Um, and we're yelling across the crowded room. So sometimes the information gets mishandled. So I, I hope we've been calling it correct on the on the play-by-play. -play, but yeah, the graphic was wrong until a moment ago. So Ingrid J trails. And uh, Belfour slid out of position just enough. And LaFonte put it home. So 5-2 King Raf. Quick opportunity from LaFontaine doesn't go there. And a lot of patience from Larmer and King Raff came out of net too early. It's a 5-3 game. King Raff, the higher seed, will is the home team to start. And Rona cannot stop the Howard Chuck from driving home 6-3, and that may be your dagger here for this game. If you're getting production on a Howard Chuck, that's a good day. It's really superior checking by Raf skaters. Ingrid just started to climb out of there and just couldn't keep the offense away. Those early breakaways really hurt him. And Chicago just has not been sharp on the road. Uh, shots are just missing wide that shouldn't. And now we have a one-timer, uh, Howard Chuck with a hat trick. The unusual hat trick from Dale Howard Chuck. So definitely be looking at a, a game two for Angry Jay to crawl back uh, and try to get make it force a game three. Chaos with uh, those fighting words, calling things cheap. Love you, brother. All right, back to it. 19 seconds remaining here. Let's see if there's something you can just bleed out here. We get out of the next match and just forget about this one. So King Raph takes game one. Yes. Oh, King Raph takes game one. 
deciding game two next. Andrew Tate will be the home team. Appreciate everyone that's here today supporting. Hang tight, we're going to get right into Super Nintendo right afterwards, so... Game two coming up next, folks. Chaos calling for this Tampa Bay San Jose match. If you're not having fun watching the stream, then it's my fault, apparently. Because everything else is so on fire. What's that? I'm sorry, what? LA Winnipeg. Angry J is Los Angeles Kings. Angry J is Winnipeg Jets. Winnipeg Jets. Right. It's, it's the Winnipeg Jets. Right, we're going to have a Kings Jets matchup. Angry J will be Los Angeles. Angry J will be Winnipeg. If King Rap is victorious, he'll win the championship, and that will go to a game of three. Schmidt says you have to play with the three button. Because Wayne Gretzky to Borsado, Borsado to Blake. Sandstrom, Housley trying to keep him at bay. Taken down, Gretzky. Bouncing around Zitnik with a chance. Essenza is there. And here comes Solani. And there's a goal. King Rap opening this game 1 0. There's Gretzky. Can't float at home. Sandstrom is there. Rudy stops it. Gets to Granado. Granado around the net. That's Gretzky's land. Gretzky's okay with it. Rob Blake out of position. And there's a pass shot for a goal from Housley from Essensa. And it's 2 0 already. For those of you who are confused about team selection, once you use a team between the group and the playoff phase, you got to cross it off the list and you can't come back to it. So it's not about what team is superior, it's what's available to be selected. The less games you play, taking care of business, the more teams you have available at your disposal. We have way more varied matchups this year compared to last year based on the new system. So Essence with a nice save. Tries to put it back, Essence in position again, playing lights out, standing on his head. It's 2-0 here, 142 remaining first period. And there's a slapper from da -da 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 Sandstrom from Rob Blake gets 2-1. Angry J answers, 139 remaining in the first. Comes Gretzky. Skating around. Finally, Housley puts him into the boards. No goons coming after him just yet. Zitnik with a check. And Rob Blake. Now we got a breakaway potential. Sandstrom in the middle. No give and go opportunities yet. There's a slapper. And quick one time to Granado. And we got a 2 2 game. Some fierce checking and after ice curriculars, extra curriculars after the ice. So 2 2. Here comes Phil Housley with the puck. Lots of Kings defenders in his way. End of the first period. J 
championship game, second period. Game two, Ingrid Jay needs to win this game and then another to take the championship. If King Raph wins a game, then he'll win the Genesis championship. Herm O'Donnell, no problems. Here comes Granado into the zone, back out of the zone. Resets, goes back in. Tapo Newman is there, one-timer to Sandstrom. Really well done, but just very well defended by Essenza. And tries to force the issue with Solani, no go. And quick one-timer pass from the Kings to Gretzky. Blake with a nice check there. Rudy hands it off. Gretzky throws Housley into the sin bin. Rob Blake with a great checking this period by Angry Jay. It's been very decisive and very effective. Sandstrom taken down by Solani, and now Evgeny Davidoff passes it off to Donato. Kind of an awkward one-timer back from beyond the blue line. Borsato loses it, and now here's Gretzky on the breakaway. Short side, no goal. Gretzky picks it up again. One-timer, but it was a backhand or a weak shot. Could not get the forehand on there. Zitnik gets a puck, but it's not the, the net is knocked off its moorings, the marsh pegs. Evgeny Davidoff unable to handle it. Here comes Sandstrom, bounce it off the boards, and here comes Halsey in the other direction. Blake misses the check, one-timer. Can't believe they didn't go in. Solani misses the net. Granado to Sandstrom, back to Granado, taken down by Davidoff. Blake misses a check, possible EA special. No go, Zitnik to Sandstrom, back to Blake. Gretzky trying to feed, force feed it into Sandstrom is there. And we got the cross crease cheese Granado in the right spot. It's got a 3 2 game. Taking the lead is Anger J for the first time. We see King Raph going to the lab here making changes. We're really enjoying this game here. Fans are enjoying it. Got a lot of players taking a look at this one. Welcome to the third period. Angry J taking King Raph into the third period. And Granada with another goal. Hat trick time. It's 4-2. Alexei Zamnov with an answer right away. Tepo Newman and, and Timo Solani with the apples. It's amazing watching two of the best people in the world at their craft go to work. Granado off the faceoff. Tries to go to the quick one tower to Sandstrom. And tries to go to Gretzky. Just not enough on that shot. And King Ramp had his goalie there. So Essence able to block that off. Face-off in the Winnipeg zone. Blake with a quick one-timer to Granato, misses the net. A nice check from Gretzky. And Sandstrom's gonna try to recollect this. David off on his, on his tail. Granato unable to handle it very well. He's into the boards. Oh, he gets the backhand in the far side of the net. That's his fourth goal, Sandstrom, second apple. King Raff wanted to force this to deciding game three. So we are in game two. King Raph won game one and another quick goal from Solani. So you see this back and forth as soon as you know, this damage that's being done by a Raph seems to be mainly after the face-offs. And there's a slapper, drives it home. Sandstrom from Granado going back and forth. These guys are amazing. This is really a joy to watch. And both players are smiling. I think they're having a rip roaring time here. Granado to Zitnik, Zitnik to Gretzky to Sandstrom. Granado taken down by Newmanen. Newmanen to Davidoff. Davidoff loses the puck to Sandstrom. Sandstrom to Gretzky. One of four goes behind the goal. 
Zidnick misses the check, but not Blake. Blake has it. Breakaway. Decides not to let the puck go. And Essensa lays out. And Sandstrom cannot put it past him. 126, two goal deficit. AJ pressing the action. And keeping it short side. Looked like Rafa's trying to defend the one timer. And this time he went short side Granado with his fifth goal. And uh, that may be the game. Raff would need to win this face off and do something with here. David off trying to flip it in. Gretzky is playing keep away. Essence with a great check behind the net. Near Zitnik. Zitnik takes it in the zone. Essence blocks it. Blake's there, and this is going to wrap up game two. All right, well. That ends the game 7 4. Let's give these. <laughs> Unbelievable. Forcing a deciding game three. Would you want it any other way, folks? for our, our matchups and tiers. It's really something to see. Matchup is Chicago at home with King Raff against the Vancouver Canucks with AJ. Yes, this is the uh, Mega SG on stream. They have both a CRT and a, a low latency LCD on stage. It's all being captured via HDMI. All right, here we go. Here come the Blackhawks playing on the organ. Here comes Zang. Yermi Luke with the nice check on Rona Cliff, uh, Cliff Ronning on his back. And Chelios passes it back to himself off the wall and the one timer to Ronick, and that's a quick one. McLean not in position. And uh, it's 1 0, King Raff. If you're a fan of NHL 94, you will not see better gameplay than what these two will provide for you for the Genesis version. Oh, and nice floater got the manual overplay out of position. Belfort was not there, and Angry J is rewarded with the goal. Here comes quick pass off the face off the Howard Chuck. Almost gets it by. Excuse me, Howard Chuck. I apologize by Pavel Bure. It's called a lot of Buffalo before. My apologies. Okay, so back to it. Here's Pavel Bure, Cliff Ronning. And McLean scoops up after it's cleared, so no icing. Jeff Cornell brings it back, avoids the check, really well done. Finally taken down by Roenick in his low weight. Oh, Larmer trying to go far side, does not find the net, and Pavel Bore is taken out from behind. Roenick is loose. Breakaway, nice diving save by McLean. Ronning doing some great work here. 
Also, outstanding manual goal, or manual save. Another manual save by McLean. And we have a whistle. Looks like a penalty on Chris Chelios. Two minutes. 115 remaining here. We got a 1 1 game, a deciding game three between Angry J93 and defending champion King Rev. Both of these players have won the world championship of the King of 94, and both have won Edge of 94. Oh, a lot of action for the net. Just no. Belfort just doing an amazing job in there. Larmer goes short side. So, bang, bang, it went to the breakaway. And Raft takes a 2-1 lead. Metal Face, thank you for the compliment. Really appreciate it. Takes a team effort here. Oh, and you get a power play goal from Jeff Cordell. Assisted by Bure. Belfort again out of position. We've seen two out of position goals from Belfort overplaying. We'll see if that comes into play later if King Raft starts to be a little more conservative with how far out he goes. Brian55, thanks for the compliment. Really appreciate that. If you guys haven't yet, if you like content like this, you like tournaments, live tournaments, uh, definitely give uh, the channel a follow uh, and a sub and like this video if you would. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there have no idea that this exists, and I think there are a lot of people that wish they knew if they, if they did know about it. So anyway, Cordell from Burray, no go. Burry back with the puck on the edge. One blows it right past Ed Belfort for a 3-2 game here. AJ looking really slick with Vancouver right now. Roenick at home hasn't been super dominant yet. Um, we'll see how that comes about. So Christian Rutu, Steve Smith, Steve Smith, Roenick. Roenick takes the zone. Tries to blast it right into Yurke Lume. Or Yurke Lume. And quick one-timer attempt to Pavel Bure, no go. Ronning tried to feed it in there. Litzter is in the way. Rutu tried to feed it to Ronick. And Litzter was in the middle there. Nice pass to Cordell. Patience. Ronick came, excuse me, Belfort came all the way out. But uh, AJ unable to get the right angle on that. So just a lot of deking and going right in deep. It's really hard to knock some of these players off their feet. Ronick on his back. Huge. Ronick chasing around here. The one. Oh, huge save by McLean after the EA special. And now we got Chelios coming the other way, but the speed's not there. The speed of Vancouver is coming into play. Uh, and now Ronning is there. This handle, though, Blitzer unable to get there, but he takes down Larmer. Larmer went down. The pass to Bob Burry is not true. Burry's back up. Does Cortnell. And a bounced off his pad in the net. 4 2 Angry J. Are you kidding me? This channel does have a Twitch counterpart right now. We are just on YouTube for the stream. Reasons I want to get into right now is we're in the middle of a championship game three, deciding game three between the two best players in the world, Angry J93 and defending champ King Raff, who trails by two goals here in the second period. 30 seconds remaining. Steve Smith. Carries it into the zone. He's taken down. Possessed by Ronning. Try to clear it, but Chelios is there. Nice slapper, but saved by McLean. Welcome to the third period. Give these guys a round of applause. Guys, we're going into your third period deciding game. Let's give a round of applause. Let's turn these guys on. So if here come the Hawks rally, King Rafts, Black Hawks, Litster is there. Yurki Lumi in front of Rutu. There's some traffic. McLean in the right position. The shot misses the net anyway, and here comes Litster. Litster. Cortnell mishandled. Taken down from behind. Ronick brings it back the other way. Really good pursuit, though, by Vancouver. There's speed coming into play. Cornell. And there's the one-timer. There's a three-goal lead, and here comes a timeout. Angry Jay taking a three-goal lead here in the third period. Running to Bure. Tries to go in. 
Short side again on the wraparound. No go. It is cleared. McLean takes it. To Ronning on the wing. Taken down. Ronick. McLean with an auto or a manual dive there to beat the angle to the far side. Quick face off one timer attempt by Rutu does not find the net. Yurke Lume to Bure. Tries to go in. And if you're ever wondering why there's not a stalling, stalling is essentially uh, disallowed. You have to sort of, you can reset, but you need to continually try to advance the puck into the zone. So Cornell is taken down. Minute and a half remaining. Yurke Lume takes it down. Bure with a shot on Belfort. Here comes uh, Steve Larmer. Steve Larmer desperately need a goal from Ronick, and he gets it. 5-3-108 remaining. This game is not over. Unbelievable. 108 remaining. Winning the faceoff for Chicago would be huge here. Litster gets it. Taking down Chelios to Steve Smith. Ronick's got it. There's the, oh, that was the one-timer that he needed. It's still not over, but he needs to collect the puck. Larmer's there. Desperation pass to Rutu. Rutu goes for a desperation shot. And time ticks away. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Angry G triumphant. After going back-to-back -back years, finishing second, takes this one in a three-game set with King Raff. And we're going to present the trophy and get into SNES very soon here. Thank you so much for watching. Hang tight with us.
front center of the Dwayne's test. You're your player, right? Dan, your player?
I mean, it was randomized. Hey guys, we're gonna reset and start the stream over uh, just so we have a separate uh, thing for the Super Nintendo tournament. So we're going with a Swiss format, and uh, four games will uh, be with you shortly.